Apparently, Jimmy Kimmel had a f bit that all these libs are talking about. Ben Shapiro did a react to it or something. So I want to see what this is. Anti-vax Barbie skit. He like reacted to it. I guess we'll see the skit itself first. There's a new doll in town and the fun is contagious. It's anti-vax Barbie. She's strong. She's independent. She doesn't trust science. Bill Gates is the antichrist. Vaccines have Satan's blood. Barbie comes with a computer so she can do her own research. Says here Moderna turns your teeth Jewish. Take your Barbie everywhere. Shopping. I'm sorry, you can't come in here without Let's a mask. It. I have a medical condition. <gasps> to the stables. Thank you for sharing your medicine, dancer. <laughs> and on the plane. <laughs> and the only mandate this Barbie cares about is Hi, with sorry. her proud boyfriend, Ken. Hi, Ken. Want to go throw eggs at nurses? Sorry, babe. Can't hear you. Alex Jones is talking about monoglobal antibodies. <laughs> Anti-vax Barbie, exclusively available in Florida and Kentucky. It's not even that bad. What What is so triggering about this? Like, it's whatever. It's like pretty basic. It's not even that bad. You know what I mean? It's not. I thought this was going to be like actually lib shit. You know what I mean? Like it, it is, but it's like a regular mid above average uh, sketch. So that is the thing that uh ben shapiro is upset about i guess so what comes around goes around right obviously seasons pass ben shapiro lived long enough to unironically become and some may say that he was always this person to unironically become the guy he despises a person triggered by a comedy bit okay a sketch if you will i thought these were the people that loved and appreciated comedy and that uh they understood when something was a sketch so i guess for ben you either live, I mean, you either die a, 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 a pro comedy defender or you live long enough to become someone who critiques comedy and cries about it like a blue haired SJW. Except this time, the snowflake is crying about Jimmy Kimmel bits. So obviously, you know, that's entirely different. This is, you don't get it, Hassan. This is actually honorable. This is actually correct for him to be upset about this. But it's, it's really funny to watch their attitude Just toward vaccines because raps. most of last year, the idea from the left was that any vaccine developed under Trump was unreliable. And then for years before that, in places like California, the idea was that woo-woo crystals were going to save you from things like measles, mumps, and rubella. Yeah, and we made fun of those people. Seven Everyone did, and you should. Crystal mommies have always been at the butt of the joke. That doesn't make them correct. If anything, that makes them incorrect, and you should make fun of them. Now, however, Trump is out of office, and the Democrats say the vaxes are good, so vaxes are good. Not only that, if you are somebody who did not take the vax, it must be that you are essentially a Nazi. That is the case that Jimmy Kimmel was making on his show last night. His team produced an, a, a fake commercial from Mattel, Anti-Vax Barbie. And, of course, it turns out that Anti-Vax Barbie does not have natural immunity or... Any serious questions about transmissibility? It turns out that anti-vax Barbie is just a Nazi. There's a new doll in town, and the fun is contagious. It's anti-vax Barbie. Bro, he's doing React Randall. You gotta, re you gotta admit, React Randall. I mean, this is next level. He has like a camera placed behind him. He's got like a big screen in front of him. You know what I mean? That that way you can. I mean, he's so much better at uh, at being a React Lord than me. Holy shit. Best. So again, the, the entire idea here is that, I mean, every single objection here is crazy. If you said I have natural immunity, Barbie, that, that obviously wouldn't have the same effect. Okay, I'm saying it. Fuck it. If you watch this unironically, if you watch Ben Shapiro unironically, and, and you watch him react to stuff when he is literally the least funny, least insightful, most like annoying literalist, uh, mm, actually Andy on the planet, you are so much worse than any fucking uh, person that generic, like it consumes generic SNL and Jimmy Kimmel content. Like you will never know laughter or joy. Oh my fucking Lord. Who is the market for this? Like who could be the market for Ben Shapiro reacts, dude? Like I need to understand which one of your friends at school watches Ben Shabibo unironically for not just like destroys libtards compilations, but actually watches him like, you know, piece by piece, absolutely take apart a Jimmy Kimmel sketch. Ben like It's got to, I mean, months. obviously me, but like I'm watching it to make fun of Ben Shapiro. That's my fun. You have to be the biggest fucking loser, dude. How motivated are you to listen to someone that you believe agrees with your worldview that you are watching? 
motherfucking Ben Shabibo. At least with me, I got even conservatives in here because like there is some degree of entertainment that I provide. Obviously, I have hate watchers too, but like how many times have you seen motherfuckers be like, you know, I, I don't really like your point of view. Okay. I'm a liberal. I'm a neoliberal. I'm a conservative, but I do enjoy uh, your takes. It's still entertaining. Ben Shapiro does not have that. Ben Shapiro just straight up does not even offer that in any meaningful capacity. So it's just like boring. I don't know how else to describe it other than he is incredibly boring. He runs ads on your channel, by the way. So this Crowder, good for them, dude. Give me some money. Every single person who has not taken a vaccine believes that, that Bill Gates is putting microchips in the vaccine or that it turns your quote unquote teeth Jewish because you're actually a secret Nazi. Also, I'm noticing that in this little play acted skit in which the, the anti-masker walks into a store and is asked to put on the mask, it is the anti-masker who goes crazy. Uh, most of the videos I've seen are kind of the opposite. No, totally dude. The people who watch this video and go, this is actually pretty funny. I really appreciate this. I really enjoy this. To those people I ask, who hurt you? What happened in your life where this is the, this is it. This is actually like entertainment for you. Like, th th these are the people that got thrown into lockers. These are the people that are watching on their iPhones in lockers with their fucking underwear pulled all the way up to their heads in the most comical capacity, like a fucking 90s high school uh, comedy. The number one podcast for people who are watching directly from the locker that they were shoved into. It's also what I've experienced. I mean, I recently was on a flight from New Jersey to, to Florida, and on that flight, I was eating some popcorn and the stewardess came by and she looks at me and she goes, you need to put up your mask between bites. I'm like between bites? That's going to save us all. Between bites. You know, the, the people who are authoritarian here are generally not the people who are, who are against masking. Are you really making fun of bully teenagers? Feel good about yourself? 1000%. Especially because one, I was a bully teenager. Two, 90% of this community are bully teenagers. Three, being bullied does not excuse you into watching Ben Shapiro, okay? If you are bullied and then you become a Ben Shapiro fan, absolutely I'm going to make fun of you. Oh my God. Also, what kind of bullying happens where they comically shove you into a locker still, dumbass? Like now bullying is like doxing you and then doxing your fucking family, you know, clipping something off of your Snapchat no, and like the entire school makes fun of you or some shit, okay? That's bullying now. They don't fucking shove you into a locker. <laughs> Oh. On the plane. For the record, this actually happened. It's comedy, so it's supposed to be I exaggerated for, you know, satirical effect. Except, like, this literally happened not once, but numerous times. So I don't know why the fuck Ben is, like, losing his shit over this by being like, you know, this actually never happened, but you know what happens all the time? Airlines tell you that, like, you need to put your mask back on. Yeah, that happens too, and it's ridiculous, but, like, this only happens when someone is being fucking violent. Hi, Ken. Wanna go throw eggs at nurses? Sorry, babe, can't hear you. Alex Jones is talking about monoglobal antibodies. There it is. Already stop it right there. That, that, okay, again. Monoglobal uh, okay. antibodies uh, are uh, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this as seriously as possible. You know what Ben's doing? Ben's doing what, like, the annoying fucking shit libs in my audience do. Where, like, I'm very clearly memeing or joking about some shit. And they go, actually, it's quite disastrous and quite problematic that you didn't recognize that what your joke was was hurtful. That's all he's doing, but he's just doing it from the right. So because we are uh, preconditioned and and uh, biased towards like assuming that uh, only liberals do this shit and shit libs and rad libs do this shit and like right wingers never do this, that like people don't recognize that he's doing exactly the same bullshit. Okay, it's annoying when the left does it. It's annoying when the right does it, and the right does it just as much as the left does it. When did monoclonal antibodies become bad? They're 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 bad now. Even though Joe Biden has pushed them. No, they said monoglobal antibodies. The joke is that like it's not bad it's not a bad thing i don't think jimmy kimmel's comedy team thinks as a monoclonal antibody is a bad thing they're making a joke about how like globalism alex jones it's whatever oh my god if you are a let's go brandon advocate like you think joe biden is doing a bad job this means that you are an anti i, I wonder why uh, there is no racial diversity among the anti-vax barbies here considering how many Absolutely. black americans are not vaxxed at this point in time uh, like i've noticed that it's only the people that jimmy kimmel wishes to to castigate who appear in this again the only reason I'm taking this even remotely seriously is because Jimmy Kimmel is a joke. Jimmy Kimmel is the woke pope of late night comedy who's violated every stricture of wokeness, but has somehow survived because he's a lapdog for the Democratic Party. Abby, I'm an old so what's the advocacy here that like, he's the woke pope. So first of all, like, are you saying that he should be canceled or something for jokes that he's made in the past that were like flex. bad? Do you consider them to be bad? Do you just want him to do more blackface? Like, is that what it is? I don't understand what this is.
Republicans love talking about how much they hate cancel culture in the same exact breath where they are advocating for more cancel culture. Where they're like, hmm, really Six fucked months, up. Yeah, guess what, dude? Really Jimmy Kimmel happened. is sometimes annoying. Cries all the fucking time. Not that funny, usually. Some good moments. Who cares? Ultimately, they're a fucking comedian. They are a late night talk Thank show host. You, like, what's the argument that he's not Why woke, but he's like leading the woke? Like, he's the woke pope, but he's not actually woke, but he is actually woke. All leftists look to Jimmy Kimmel for the newest woke take to own the cons. Yeah. When he added your tweet in one of his segments. Yeah, that was kind of fucked up. Suck me, Jimmy Kimmel. On, on a pure humor level, I'm just wondering what makes this funny. Like, it's not subtle. It's not interesting. Up. What makes it funny is that Republicans are just, they're funny. Anti-vaxxers are inherently funny. And the only time that liberals can ever be funny is if they just take something that a, a, an actually funny person has done and carbon copy it. Because all that joke did was like lightly exaggerate. If we're going to do the fucking comedy analysis thing, which is really annoying and it kills jokes in general. But if we're going to do that, then that the only reason why that's funny is because conservatives are fucking funny. Like the shit that they do, the shit they believe is fucking hilarious. That that joke format is like, take something that's actually funny, conservatives behaving in this like insane way, and then put it in a unique situation like, oh, this is a conservative Barbie doll. But Ben is doing exactly the same annoying fucking rad lib shit that was like, oh, it's funny to you. It's funny to you that you're making fun of anti-vaxxers. Why is this funny? Swap anti-vaxxer for like that other chatter who was like, it's funny to you. You're making fun of people who are bullied. That's funny to you. Why is that funny to you? You know, why is the emotional baggage I have to live with for the rest of my life? Why is that funny to you? Why are you making a joke about that? It's the exact same back. shit. It's exact same shit that Ben Shapiro is doing right now. Okay. But just from the right, 